What's going on you guys, this is Alzheimer's Day 1 of the PS4 and I'm going to be giving you guys another Division 2 build video. And with this build video I'm going to be giving you guys is going to be a tank build. Yes, a tank build. This build is so, so good, you will rarely ever die. It makes running legendaries and heroics pretty fun as a tank, first of all, because you'll see how fast your armor is regenerating. But not only that, it makes this tank definitely the best tank in the game. There's a True Patriot tank build that you can also go with, but True Patriot tank is not that great compared to this. Like, survivability-wise, this can literally take on a whole army from Legendary, and you barely lose your armor. And, I mean, it's, it's just definitely one of the best tanks in the game, for sure. So, let's go ahead and get right into it. So, you have a few different options when it comes to the specialization. You have the firewall, which helps with increasing the damage. You have gunner, which more gives you more armor, demo for explosive resistance, and survivalist for more damage to enemies that are status affected. But the technician is going to be better. Because one, you get the plus one skill tier, which, I mean, in general, is really nice. But you also get the plus 12% damage to drones, skills, and proxies. And that's also going to be really nice, so you can help with damage. But the main thing is the artificer hive. The Artificer Hive is going to basically rebuff your shield, re, uh, giving the duration, some part of the duration back, depending on how high of a skill tier you have for the Artificer Hive. Not only does it help you, but it helps your allies as well. But if you want to use it solely for yourself, just leave it unequipped. Uh, you make sure you don't drop it and it's in, it's holstered, basically, because the charges will still come into you, but it's never going to actually use any of the charges. Also, do make sure you get the Gunslinger uh, talent on the technician. So now we're going to go ahead and go right into the weapons and gear. So the different weapons I'm using doesn't really matter because you can use literally whatever you want. You're just never going to really ever use it because you're mainly going to have your bulwark shield up. And while you have that bulwark shield up, you're going to be using the Liberty. The Liberty gives you the talent called Liberty or Death. Every time you hit a target, basically body shots, you will deal two. You get a two percent increase in weapon damage, and it stacks up to thirty times. So that's sixty percent weapon damage increase. And no, it's not multiplicative, so don't worry. It is a big increase, though. Regardless, sixty percent damage increase. And then obviously, when you hit a headshot, it takes those stacks away and repairs your shield, and you get three percent of your shield repaired per stack. And then for the foundry bulwark. Obviously, we don't have the chest or the backpack until the raid, but even this is really, really good. The Foundry Bulwark set gives you 10% total armor for two pieces, 3% for total armor regeneration, and then for the four piece, you get makeshift repairs. Whenever you or your shield takes damage, 20% of that is repaired to both over 15 seconds. So, in a sense, you don't really need to run armor regeneration on your builds, but, you know, I decided to put armor regen. But if you really, really don't want to go armor regen and you want to really help with damage, then I would spec either into headshot damage or crit chance. You want to try to push out as much crit chance as possible on this if you really want to go crit. You can't really put any crit damage because, I mean, that's not going to really be possible. And then the other thing that you could do is go weapon damage instead of armor. On the backpack, if you do go with a full tank route, you want to make sure you go protector because while your shield is equipped, every time an enemy hits your shield, they you yourself gets extra armor, 5% more armor bonus, and then you get 15% armor to your allies and it stacks up three times so you can give your allies 45% of the armor bonus that you have of total armor and you get a total of 15%. And then I'm running the Tardigrade chest piece. You can either go Tardigrade or you can go Perfect Vanguard. I went Tardigrade because a lot of times your allies will end up losing their armor. So having that bonus armor, quote unquote, unbreakable is going to be really nice versus you giving them a bonus armor every 20 seconds. But again, like I said, you don't have to go armor regeneration on your build if you don't want, want to go that route. I just did that. You can also go hazard protection or explosive resistance instead. So as you can see, the artificer hive is going to be equipped, but you don't ever really want to drop it unless you know you want to buff your team. 
But aside from that, I mean, or their skills. But aside from that, I wouldn't worry about it. Just keep it holstered so you can re refresh your shield, the shield duration, shield health, etc. And I'm at one point, pretty much 1.9 million armor. That's because all my, not all of my pieces are maxed out. If it's maxed out, you could probably reach around 2.1 million armor, 2.2 million. I'm also at 36% protection from elites because I am using three different protection from elite mods. The um, incoming repairs doesn't work in the way that it used to. Now you have to actually be healed from an outside source in order to make use of that incoming repairs. So it doesn't really matter too much about using that. But yeah, that's pretty much it with this build. Hopefully it helped you guys out. If it did, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know down in the comment section and I will I'll try my best to answer it to the best of my ability. Um hopefully if there's anything that you guys have, you know, if you guys have any idea of any other builds and stuff, go ahead and leave that down in the comment section as well and I'll try my best to utilize those and maybe make a build video off of those as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it with this. Hopefully, like I said, this helped you guys out. This is all day one on the PS4. Have a good day. Good night and peace.